they call it the Tesla of the sea. That's a pretty big title uh, to live up to, but I, I, I think uh, this uh, little taxi electric boat uh, just might do that. Um, I will tell you more about the details. Uh, they're pretty fascinating and they are going in production this summer. Uh, uh, and, and there are quite a few interesting videos about the design, uh, but also their specs are pretty impressive as well. I'll tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. And I really should say electric technology news, as I've been trying to cover stuff outside of just electric cars, and in this case, electric boats. So if this is your first time here, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. It's free, and that way you won't miss anything moving forward. And of course, really quick, I want to give a shout out to one of my newer Patreons, Rodney Gilbertson. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. That's the only place where you can watch me live. But really, thank you to all of you who are supporting and contributing to my channel it's an independent YouTube channel so I really appreciate it if you want to be one of the contributors and patreons there's a link in the description of this video so go ahead and join and thank you so much for that all right now this boat is just too awesome now I know it says that the people call it the Tesla of the sea but the real name is sea bubbles uh, a little too cute for my taste though look it, it, it does have a cute smile if you will and a cute little face um, this is this is a, a convertible version, I guess. Uh, there are five of these prototypes that were brought to uh, Florida to, I guess, kind of a, a, a test it a little bit, but also, you know, they are trying to drum up some sales because they are going in production this summer, which is really, really cool. Um, the, 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 uh, now, the, the, the specs of this boat is, is, is not bad at all. And um, as you know, the transportation is not just about electric cars. It's, you know, we're now seeing electric, electric helicopters and, um, and, and obviously drone ta taxis and planes and now boats. And I think this is a pretty damn good start. Um, I absolutely love it. Okay, so... It goes uh, up to, the speed is up to 25 miles an hour. Uh, the company has 25 people and they raised a $14 million, uh, uh, which is really not that much if you think about it. It's not the half a billion or billions of dollars that the, the electric car companies have to raise. Um, it has a 20 kilowatt uh, uh, motor, a 21 kilowatt hour battery, and it, uh, the range is about 25 miles, which is really pretty acceptable for, for a taxi boat, right? Really slick design. I absolutely love it. Check out this video. Um, just like I said, the, the delivery started this summer. You, you only, it only takes 35 minutes to recharge uh, the entire battery, which is pretty decent if you ask me. I mean, this is kind of a, a pit stop. Um, now, of course, a lot of you guys will ask about the price. The price is not as much as I thought it would be, but it's still up there. It is 200,000 American dollars. And, you know, if you think about it, you know, I think Model X can go um, almost up to that price in China. Uh, uh, so it, it's definitely up there, uh, obviously, hopefully once they ramp up the production and maybe do it in mass production it will come down but it's definitely very very interesting uh, as you can see it has falcon uh, door like uh, uh, wings so people kind of can pick out of it so that's pretty cool um, and overall I just do love the concept now let's talk about why this boat is actually sticking out of the water there's a very very interesting engineering reason behind that before that of course I want to remind you that this video in this channel is sponsored by Evanex the aftermarket accessories for the Tesla of the land which is Tesla uh, there's a there's a discount code in the description of this video go ahead and grab it and that way you can save yourselves a few bucks okay so uh, this uh, uh, cute little thing is 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 definitely a, a, a trip but as you can see from the uh, from the videos once it gains speed and by the way you don't have to worry about you know raising it going up and down like in a car it it automatically figures out uh, you know at what speed it can stick out for how far up uh, and and most importantly uh, you know not tip over because as you can see it is it is riding uh, uh, you know a few feet up in the air now why is that and the reason is not because it looks cool which it totally does but because and this kind of makes all sense in the world it's because uh, the drag the resistance of the water is definitely much, much harsher than the resistance of the wind. So if you raise it up and the only resistance is those, what, two or three legs that it kind of has, that uh, it definitely increases the or decreases the amount of energy that you need to power this boat. So that's kind of 
you know, genius. Now I've seen uh, um, a surf boards, a pedal boats like that. They're electric. They also get uh, raised up. And I, I think Audi has one and a few other manufacturers, but I never really understood why I thought it was just because it's cool, but no, I mean, again, yes, but uh, it does look, it, it does serve an engineering purpose. So, you know, I'm I'm definitely really excited about, you know, these technologies making it out of the land and into the air and into the into the water because, you know, let's face it, the electric technology is it makes not just the cars better but everything else. Now, obviously, this boat is not going to pollute the environment and, you know, the boats also pollute the the, the engines, the diesel boats. Uh, uh, pollute the water, which is kind of a double whammy, right? We're, now we're polluting everything. Um, and, you know, it is more cost efficient. Now, they're saying that an hour of operation of a regular gasoline or diesel b uh, engine boat is anywhere from $70 to $130 an hour. I'm not really sure where they're getting that idea. And I, I don't know much about boats, to be honest with you, to kind of, uh, but that does sound like on a higher higher level, I, I, I don't know if they really eat up that much. I guess, l let me know in a in a description of this video, actually, I would like to be educated. And a lot of times you guys, my, my audience do that. Uh, so thank you for that. So I'm looking forward uh, to look to, to those comments, but uh, uh, Sea Bubbles, uh, uh, <laughs> okay. it's just too funny when I, um, Sea Bubbles company's, uh, you know, a press release says that um, with this boat, you only need to spend $2 uh, an hour of operating uh, rather than, you know, up to 130, uh, dollars per hour. Um, yeah, I, listen, I'm definitely going to keep in touch. I've contacted them. They're based in France, uh, which is also pretty cool, though. The French, you know, have made Renault, and the Renault uh, is a pretty respectable brand. In, in Europe, as a matter of fact, Renault Zoe is one of the most popular electric cars in the world. So uh, kudos to the French, and yet this is yet another invention. Um, uh, but I think it's cbubbles.fr uh, is where you can go and contact them and order one yourself if you're really looking uh, 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 to buy one. And from what I understand, it's only like celebrities right now and like big politicians around the world that are ordering uh, this. But hey, if you have the money, I'm sure you will be able to enjoy this one. If you do buy one, I'd like to have a ride. Uh, so yeah, I've contacted them. Hopefully they will contact me back and I'll be able to maybe even test drive this one for you guys. Wouldn't that be awesome? So looking forward to that definitely will keep my eye on the story uh, other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged